Hey, what up, Z Clan, and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 video where I'm going to be talking about an alternative way on how to unlock mods for weapons and armor cost free from crafting them. Because I already made a video back in 2018 on how to get the new mods for the weapons. That's the method of crafting and scrapping. And uh, now, thanks to the uh, Wastelanders DLC, it has opened a little bit more uh, boundaries and allow us to loot more of the guns so we can save our resources and actually unlock the mods without the need of spending those because uh, there are some guns that will require a lot of resources for crafting and it's pretty hard to find them during the adventure mode the other thing is a tip on top here well not a tip on top a warning is that I do apologize if there's any uh, background noise on my end because uh, I'm shooting this early in the morning before I start working and uh, <clears throat> Z Jr. is playing with his cars right now. <laughs> what can I say? I can record videos when I can. <laughs> Alright, let's still waste some time and jump right into it. Alright, so let's go and I'll show you what I mean. There are a couple of changes since that day when I've made that video which is actually doing good actually you know what let me actually show you what video exactly am I talking about I'm pretty sure most of you already seen it alright so this is the video that I was talking about it's Fallout 76 guide video get mods uh, for your weapons quickly so this is where I explained and I will explain this video once more but in less details than I did here uh, in order how to do it so basically as you can see I've uploaded this video back uh, on the 27th of December 2018 which did pretty good so let me get back to my character now. all right so let's continue so if we navigate over here first thing that changed by the way by the way if you click on modify and repair and you have some weapons with you that you can scrap right and let's say for example the 10 millimeter pistol which drops from scorched actually a lot of scorched I don't remember from who else but this pistol comes around a lot of times as you can see we have the new uh, feature that tells us how many mods we have uh, to unlock so uh, the 10 mil pistol has 43 mods that can be unlocked now uh, have in mind that not all mods can be unlocked by uh, scrapping the weapons such as the prime receivers uh, or automatic prime receivers. For those, you need to get the plants. Sup, Johnny? Alright, so, combat shotgun. Also comes around with mole miners, I uh, believe high level scores as well, and this is a really, like, uh, common weapon. Gauss rifle. As you can see over here, I have 11 out of 30 mods. Now, the Gauss rifle uh, can be dropped from events, from big beasts such as Behemoth, uh, sometimes Death Claws, and other creatures. So, this one is not that easy to come by uh, once you're traveling in the Fallout 76 world, right? So, uh, if you aim to get to unlock mods for the Gauss rifle quickly, then most likely you're gonna have to craft it. So you craft it and you scrap it, right? So let's see if we're gonna get a mod if we do a couple. There we go. We got short recon scope. Then if we scrap one more, there we go. We got alignate stock. Let's go again. True long barrel. Let's go again. Stabilized shock. Let's go again. Quick uh, capacitors. <laughs> So, as you can see, just now, I have locked it already, uh, what was it? It was 11 or was it 10? Never mind. It was 5 or 6 mods just like that. Simple. Uh, now, these weapons that I'm showing you right now, I actually crafted them. So, uh, have that in mind. But, as I said, the logic is, you go to locations where you can loot as many weapons, you scrap them, you get mods. That's for those players who don't have any mods. Like for example, handmade. Handmade on PC, I had to craft scrap. To be honest, now I don't have to do that because there are spawn locations where you can easily get those handmades, and I'm uh, saving up on a lot of materials over there. Since I've moved from uh, PC to Xbox now, there's still a lot of things that I got unlocked. So the railway rifle once again seven uh, seven mods I have already uh, I already know 14 to go now 
With this one, you not always get mods, as you can see. And once again, I'd like to point out that with some guns, it is it's very hard to unlock mods. And then, once I'm going to walk you through this part over here, we're going to scrap everything real quick, and I'll talk about the perk cards as well. So, combat rifle, once again, these are pretty common weapons, and uh, they drop from... Uh, Wall miners, I think, or even scorched. Uh, I think so. That's it. So I still need to. <clears throat> oh yeah. <clears throat> I do apologize. Uh -huh. Gunsmith. Okay, that's what I'm missing out. Now there are other mods that uh, unfortunately can be obtained only by pla buying plants, not just prime. I believe the night scope is also acquirable only through the plant. So if you notice that, hey man, I'm scrapping this thing and uh, I can't get those mods, well, maybe it's time to look uh, for the plants. <laughs> Alright, double barrel, very common, mole miners, uh, scorched as well, uh, short gamma gun, uh, very hard to find <clears throat> uh, during the travels, but once again, you can get random loot from big creatures, from uh, events that you're doing. Short handmade, so there you go, look. I haven't crafted not a single handmade. I this is the first time literally I crafted my handmade. This is the first time, just for this for the purpose of this video. And as you can see, I already unlocked 39 mods out of 47, and that's because I've been uh, jumping from for a couple of locations uh, to. <clears throat> as you can see, I already unlocked another two mods. I'm almost done. <laughs> Uh, I'll show you those locations, of course, and how to get the handmade, because uh, a lot of people are more interested in the handmaids. Then, uh, hunting rifles are very easy to uh, come by. It's, once again, scorched. Uh, low levels, big levels. Now, lever short, uh, short lever action rifle, it's a little bit different story. As you can see, I got 5 mods out of 30, uh, 34. These, once again, are very rare to find uh, once you're traveling around, so most probably you're going to have to uh, craft and scrap, as I already have a few examples. Uh, short pop action shotgun, once again, very easy to come by. I already unlocked all the mods, 27 out of 27. Now, this, this is the real pain short radium rifle this thing is expensive pretty much impossible to find uh, through the wall travels yo what's up bowler hats and bears thanks for the sub uh, welcome to z-clan <laughs> so uh you're gonna have to scrap a lot of these uh not only that it's pretty much impossible to find but uh, the chances of getting a mod for this thing is crazy. I mean, I had to sometimes scrap like 20 of them in order to get just one mod. Even when you when when you have no mods, zero out of 45, it's still pretty hard. But sometimes I don't know, maybe it's RNG and God's blessed me. <laughs> that was back on PC. I scrapped 15 radium rifles and I got eight mods. And I was like, how? Usually I have to scrap like 20 things to get just one thingy, and now BAM! <laughs> uh, 44 pistol, and and so on pretty much. Uh, so, you, you get the point I believe by now, right? So if we get out of here, and just quickly do the scrapping thing. Schmacking, schmacking, brum, brum, brum. There we go, here comes the mods baby, kinda daddy. Short handmade, let's go. Give me more mods, you can hear like, chicka. These are mods, baby. These are mods for your guns. Yeah? Mods for the guns? High five. <laughs> As you can see, there goes the uh, list of uh, unlocked mods, which is pretty insane-ish. As I said, I haven't been doing this method on Xbox until today. So I haven't been crafting anything. I've just been running around, getting whatever I want to get, and that's pretty much it. Because I really d didn't need mods. Uh, I couldn't figure out what build I want to do, and I didn't have the gas stuff. Plus, this method does not work with the new weapons, such as Goss minigun. It doesn't work with uh, Goss shotgun and those things that you get for Gold Bullion. So, uh, you gotta buy mods for Gold Bullion for that one. Now, same same logic is with uh, armor, right? So you can craft and scrap, yeah? <laughs> craft and scrap, baby. Even Johnny can uh, 
confirms that. So, uh, once again, I've unlocked a lot of different uh, mods for the metal chest piece, for the leather chest piece, for the marine even, without any crafting whatsoever. So, on PC, I, I used to craft them and scrap them as a lot of materials. I used to buy those junk and stuff like that. So, oh, I think I got that right. Okay. Uh, last thing before we continue to the locations, perk cards. When you're doing uh, the actual craft scrap, right? Make sure, make sure that you have the super duper on because that increases the chance of duplicating a, a weapon or a armor or whatever you're crafting. Uh, so you get it free. So for example, if I craft a handmaid right now, it's going to trigger. You'll get two handmaids instead of one. So, definitely make sure to have that super duper on whenever you're crafting pretty much anything, right? It's always good to have an additional uh, thingy popping so you can get um, some stuff, right? Alright, so, let me start with my locations. <laughs> Alright, my favorite locations, but I'm going to be talking for the... Uh, higher levels right so for the lower levels I would definitely recommend you to stop by uh, the sort of angel looking icon uh, this is an indicator for uh, the blood blood eagles so those guys also sometimes have different guns and you can pick them up you can even use them on your level and they drop stim packs and basically you scrap scrap and you get a lot of junk by the way, I forgot the most important perk card when you scrap things is the scrapper. I always have this thing on so I don't forget to use it because this thing gives a lot of a lot of junk back to me. So <laughs> I remember back in the day in 20, 2018 when <laughs> I said the scrapper perk card is the best, one of the best perk cards in my opinion. People like that, man, you crazy or something? No, that thing is nothing. Actually, it's the opposite. That thing is good. <laughs> Especially all the steel that you can get if you just... By the way, yeah, those locations will give you a whole bunch of steel too. Alright, so, I definitely recommend stopping by the Blood Eagles and the, uh, uh, the Mothman Cultists. Now, the Mothman Cultist is your source for handmaids. These guys love handmaids. Blood Eagles love more of that plasma gun or whatever uh, man I forgot what's the name of that thing here let me show you uh, energy weapons I think it's in the energy BAM yeah plasma pistol they love these guns so if you want mods for this baby here uh, blood eagles is your choice one handmade go for the uh, uh, mothman cultists by the way the, sh the laser gun super easy super mutants have it so uh, I've unlocked these gun, uh, the mods for that gun already. All of them like super easy. But anyway, so don't spend your materials on that. So let's go to my location number one, and that's where I usually start my runs. By the way, they also drop legendaries, as I said, stim packs. You can get a whole bunch of junks, and if you are uh, traveling around and you have spur po uh, points in perception, I just have two perception, unfortunately. Uh, I would highly recommend to turn on the... What the hell is that name? I do apologize. I'm in, I'm in Ukraine. I am from Ukraine. I sometimes mispronounce stuff. And that is a little bit too much for me. <laughs> so, then the bubble, bubble finder. So, these two I always have on because I love to find things around. I love to keep things around. I'm working on my... Uh, uh, mule build I love having a lot of things on me and still not done but once the video uh, once I get all the components I'll make a really cool guide video on the mule builds and why I love it so much I used to I used to love PvP by the way but then after a lot of things that came to this game back in, in 2018 or I don't remember it was survival mode came I loved it played it and then stuff start happening and I forgot about PvP but anyway that's not the topic for this video let's go all right so our first stop is Solomon's pond and the reason for that there is a 
in most cases for me is a level uh, 95 behemoth sometimes he can be legendary and I love that guy because he always gives like different types of weapons upon choice different it can be anything including armor he gives a lot of marine armors a ton of time as well look at that hello you're ready to give me some loot man let's go oh you don't want to die by the way if you're asking why am I so weak this is my meal build I haven't been sneaking and I don't have any perk uh, damage perk cards turned on everything is for carry 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 so this guy gives caps, ammo, stim packs, short hunting, night vision, assault rifle. By the way, assault rifles are very easy to unlock. The super mutants are your go, go kill them. Uh, leather right leg, marine armor, and combat chest piece. So if you scrap all that, you can unlock mods. So I also unlocked a lot of different mods for the combat armor as well. Uh, since I've been doing this for a couple of days, just so verifying the locations, kind of trying to memorize what is everything going on. Because you know me, I don't uh, script. Uh, oh, <laughs> uh, script, script, script my videos. Script. Oh my God, this game, man. I don't write text. I speak of the bottom of my heart. So there you go. These guys love to provide with armor. By the way, that's another thing that I forgot to mention previously. Uh, it was hard to come by with uh, armor pieces. Now it's way easier. Plus, these guys give a lot of goodies stim packs. Plus, they can be legendary. So that's another good thing. As you can see, laser rifles, uh, plasma guns, rocket launchers. By the way, these guys, these blood eagles, they love rocket launchers. Look, they love playing music as well look at that man Elvis Presley of the king <laughs> bam there you go that's the uh, missile launcher right there so there we go you get the point right uh, plasma sniper rifle I told you these guys love plasma sniper rifles so there you go you take all of this stuff here and uh, the good thing is that uh, there is the scrap machine over here so make sure to scrap things before you move out uh, the other thing is, unfortunately, not all cultists and blood eagles have the uh, workshops where you can scrap stuff in order um, to move on. I mean, not everybody is a mule build. Hey, hey I just unlocked another mod. Let's go. Right leg. Bam. And the goodies, uh, sometimes they even uh, drop modded modded uh, stuff and modded stuff increase chances of you finding those mods <laughs> all right next location that I love okay next location that I love is lucky hole mine but uh, I actually took a look on how much how long I've been talking and I've been talking a lot and this video is gonna turn out really big if I show you every single spot so what I've decided I'm just gonna walk you through so I jump to the Solomon's pond that's where I start my journey then I go to Hunts, uh, Huntersville to kill super mutants there are always super mutants over here and there's scrapping stuff over there right plus there's a high chance of uh, spawning uh, legendaries then I would navigate to the Ripper alley then I'll clear out West Egg uh, actually from this place sometimes I, I go straight for the lucky hole mine in order to go and get my lead ores that's the top source of farming lead plus uh, for from this location specifically here in one run you can get a lot of lead I have a uh, separate video made on that topic and Johnny Johnny <laughs> uh, and these guys drop handmaids so in one run you can get one to four handmaids if you do it so definitely this is a go West Tech essentially the best for Johnny, don't touch that thing. You you make light, Johnny. <laughs> so, uh, West Tech essentially for super mutant killing uh, to get resources, especially uh, steel because they drop a lot of good guns, and obviously it has a chance of spawning a lot of legendaries, a lot of legendaries. So, like when I go there, one is guaranteed. None if my I'm having a bad day. Uh, like, but in general, we get around like um, two to three legendaries when I stop by that place. Johnny, come on, stop that! Dude. Don't, don't do that. So, 
once again the bounty then I would jump to Johnson's uh, <laughs> ours. <laughs> uh, over there, uh, Mothman's handmaids and scrapping, because uh, these one, this one doesn't have, for example. Uh, then I would make a stop by the repair yard. This thing triggers different uh, random encounters. Sometimes you can get reputation for settlers or raiders. Sometimes you can find big creatures over there, uh, kill them, get all the goodies. Then I would do the Big Bend Tunnel East, the shog riding shotgun event. So you can actually solo it pretty easy if you want me to do... Actually, I, I do have that in plans and I will do it. How to solo this thing and get maximum rewards with no problemos. So once that is done, that is done. Uh, then I will just go essentially... Oh, this... Make sure to stop by this place. This is another one of my top number one locations to stop by. Over here you can find a level 91 Deathclaw if you're high level enough. And you know, higher levels give a whole bunch of stuff, stim packs and stuff like that. So, Quarry X3, also the uh, Marley Queen over there, also good loot, a lot of goodies. And then basically I just navigate up. Up the field, right? I stop by this place right here, by this place right here, over here you can get a random encounter. Uh, I usually capture all the workshops as well. Uh, sometimes I'm, I make the run through Harper's Ferry, because Harper's Ferry uh, now has even more turrets! And that's secrets. Johnny, you having fun? <laughs> and uh, I get all that stuff. Then I would stop by this place, because once again turrets, and blood eagles, and scorched, and really nice. Uh, stop over here to get my asset as well if I'm in need, but uh, currently after the fat snatched uh, Parade event uh, the limited time one. I have I have no need for acid. I've been farming acid there I made a video on it. It didn't go Well, but oh that reminds me. I need to check if I can still do that method once the parade is over Ooh, Good thing. I'm making this video uh, crevassed damn super mutants uh, over here, I would go. Well, I don't like killing Scotch, of course, because I already got everything. Now, from this location here, uh, the last stop that I would make uh, on this side over here is the Highland Marsh to kill the uh, Queen. Then I would navigate to the Hopewell Cave to kill the Deathclaw, uh, kill this thing over here, and final stop would be this place right here. And then I just restart. So I go back to Behemoth. So, because by that time, usually it will reset. I haven't tried out these areas, but, uh, well, I did, but I didn't get high levels. So, maybe that's why I don't do it. But mainly, when I'm playing, to be honest, I mainly, like, if you take the map and, and divide in half, I stick to the right side because usually I have all the workshops here, free f for me, basically, once I have workshops free f fast travel points and uh, this area spawns the, uh, the high levels for me so that's why I always try I try to stick around in this section I go to this section only if there's some sort of an event uh, some easy event that I want to do real quick to get some stuff or like breach and clear I definitely go and do that event that small miners over there and you can get lead ores aluminium ores copper ores and so on and so forth A really good event but in order to do it you'll need to go to the horn industrial headquarters you'll have a quest triggering over there do it and you will get the uh, i forgot how's that card called this thing will start popping the mining machine jumps out of the ground and you pick up all the goodies so there's there's a lot and i'm talking long again i do apologize once again this video turns out to be long as i said i don't script my videos so that is why most probably my videos turn out sometimes pretty long I know if I script the videos and do it by priority maybe I would be able to cut the timing by 20 maybe 40 percent I'm not sure because I haven't never done those but once again YouTube is a hobby for me and uh, I aim to make it a full time but not now anyway 
this is where I'm gonna be calling it the end for this video so I hope you enjoyed it found it useful and if you did you know the drill don't forget to hit that like comment down below please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube nobody sees those comments nobody can reply to those comments I see them I read them and I delete them I have that in mind so if you want replies to your comments for me or anybody else who is watching this video make sure not to f bump your comment otherwise you ain't gonna get a reply man <laughs> <laughs> and if you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine. So, hi from Ukraine. I hope you enjoyed this video. Our clan has grown to 4,914 Z Clan members. Yeah, Junior. So, uh, if you want to join a really cool community, super active, I'm still working a little bit more things on Discord. Join our Discord, that is. And, uh,. Over there, once joining, once again, please do read rules because I am strict. I will ban you if you disobey the rules. The rules are actually very simple. Keep it pro, respect the nut. Don't spam, don't harass, don't swear, and you're good. <laughs> uh, do that, and you're done. Well, and let me put it this way. Family friendly. I think that everybody understands what you gotta do in order to be family friendly, alright? Or as some people like to say it, Christian channel, which I, I don't really like. I just I just like to have things clean. I'm trying to create a community, Z Clan, a place where we all can have fun, a good place to return to that you know that nothing toxic is there. So I ban toxic people straight off the bat, no questions that. By the way, if you get banned on Discord, uh, just just a little. I, so far, I haven't unbanned anybody. So the reinstate is of the uh, your login back to us. It's gonna be pretty tough one and a long one. So just please read the rules, okay? And once you do, go to the get started section. Get yourself the user roles to get access to the chats, right? Um, because we are expanding, we're growing really fast on Discord as well. And I don't want you to see all those hundreds of chats and we're planning to grow even more so you can control what chats you can see so in get started section if you click Z that you accept the Z clan rules you'll get access to the general chats if you click select the, the platform uh, which you're playing it will be easier for you to team up with someone and then you go to the game section and you select the games that you play and based on your selections that's when you get access to the chats so you'll get for example if you play only 76 Click only 76 and you'll have chats only to 76. You won't have any other chats. If you play Warzone, click Warzone, you'll have also chats for Warzone. Pretty simple as that. But anyway, Z Clan and everybody else, thanks all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the show. You know the drill, smash the like. <laughs> and I hope you had fun. Alright, Z Clan and everybody else, y'all have a good morning, day, and night. Whatever you guys look like, it, I'll see you later. Are you still there, everybody else? Or did you subscribe? If you subscribe, we'll come somewhere. Bye. From the ashes we rose into the future we'll go